Today, let's take a closer look at the fascinating world of luxury dress watches. Today's timepiece often flies under the radar but holds a unique charm waiting to be uncovered. It's like a hidden gem in the watch world, quietly making a statement without the spotlight. Its 36mm size and golden case might raise eyebrows, challenging traditional expectations. Hi guys, my name is Ed, welcome back to Risaga and this is a channel about affordable watches. And there are really no better dress affordable watches than Orient Bambino. Uh, picture this, a wristwatch that breaks the rules, defying expectations and sparking a lively debate among watch enthusiasts. The Orient Bambino, a charming 36mm timepiece, originally meant for delicate wrists, but now confidently embraced by, by men that are not afraid to wear a 36mm watch. Imagine the sun casting a warm glow on the wristwatch, revealing a dial with a captivating dug head tint. Uh, and I'm I'm not saying that the, the dial is white or cream, it has a dog egg tint. It, it, looks, it looks like sort of between white and Tiffany blue, but it's still white. No fancy text cluttering the space, just the thin hands gracefully moving around golden indices. The 36mm golden case adds a layer of mystery, it is paying homage to the iconic vintage Omega Seamaster. But it is boldly carrying its own path. I think that for the wearer who once dreamed of an Omega, this Orion Bambina becomes a subtle nod with every glance. But there's more. The unexpected thickness of the watch challenges the norm for dress watches. However, before passing judgment, consider the Dome Mineral Crystal um, a vintage touch that adds a unique allure. It's a small detail that deserves attention, suggesting a thoughtful choice in design. If you flip the watch, you'll discover the beating heart beneath. The open case back reveals the F6724 automatic Japanese movement. It's like the engine of a well-crafted machine, reliable and precise, probably displaying a made in Japan tag. It's craftsmanship that goes beyond borders, adding a touch of superiority to the timepiece. Yet a small detail becomes a big deal here. The 17mm lug width poses a challenge in finding the best strap. The struggle for an 18mm strap, though seemingly trivial, becomes a testament to the wearer's attention to detail. It's about refusing to compromise even in the smallest aspects. The Orient Bambino isn't just a watch, it's a conversation starter for sure. But is it breaking free from the norm or is it a calculated choice? Does it successfully channel the timeless elegance of a, an Omega Seamaster or is it creating a niche of its own? On my wrist this watch fits perfectly, I have a 6.5 inch wrist and it seems like it's it is, is the right size. What might seem um, a big disappointment if you have a big wrist, uh, consider this uh, an intentional deviation from the norm. And here Orion Bambino invites, uh, invites you to a fresh perspective. Dress watches are meant to be small. And I think we've always wanted a watch like this. And a watch like this, uh, I mean, not a watch with a dome crystal, but a dress watch that is small enough 
and that recreates that the same vibe that uh, our grandparents had when they were were wearing uh, a dress watch. It challenges the watch world to consider what defines excellence and, and elegance. What might, what might seem disappointing at first glance reveals itself as a positive departure, sparking a dialogue and making a bold statement uh, in a world often driven by conformity. Even though it has a 70mm lock width, I think that even wearing it with, with, uh, with the original strap, it's, it's a great choice. Because take a look at older photos of dress watches. This watch is from that period. And if you think that I'm wrong, write in the comment section. Being made in Japan, this watch features hand winding and hacking capabilities. Having a date function, the dial still looks balanced. And you need to see this watch in person. And you need to have this watch. This watch looks way, way better in person. This camera doesn't show its real face. It just shows the shape of it, but the vibe that it transmits when you see it in real life, it's awesome. If you found yourself nodding in agreement, intrigued by its subtle charm, or even questioning its unconventional choices, don't forget to hit the like button and share your thoughts in the comments below. What's your take on this unique timepiece? Is it a hidden gem or a watch with something to prove? If you haven't already subscribed to our channel for more explorations into the fascinating universe of watches. Until next time. Thank you.